Welcome back to my second channel guys. Today we're going to be setting a few KG trail cameras out and just see what's around. I mean deer season's getting closer every day. Trapping season's also getting closer so it's always a good thing to just you know keep tabs on well what lives here. And by the way I'm standing out in my field and bro look at my guineas. Like I don't know if you can see them or not. They're way out there but like they're just they're just like out there like turkeys. And look at them move dude. They're like little ninjas. I don't know what they're doing. I guess they see a grasshopper and they run like 20 feet to go get it. I don't know man. They ain't they ain't they ain't simping. They ain't playing around. They're here to kill. And earlier today, they were like way over there. They were like 200 yards in the wilderness. I don't know. I'm surprised something didn't need them. But like I was talking about a second ago, we have a fleet of KG trail cameras. If you don't know, I actually sold trail cameras for a while. I actually still have a few up on the site. We've just not used them much because, I don't know, it's hard to set a trail camera for like a fish or something. But these bad boys are going to come in super handy here whenever actually a hunting season's come in. Now, fun fact about these exact cameras. We actually had a few people like send them back because they said they wasn't working. But all four of those are the ones that people sent back because they said they weren't working. I don't know, guys. I tried them out and I tested them and they weren't good. So we're going to go ahead and set them back. I I don't know more for me i guess and so yeah i mean we're just gonna go set these out pretty basic we'll come back tomorrow and check them hopefully we'll have some kind of action overnight i'm sure we'll have some kind of action because i'm gonna set one on a cow and by golly if we can't get a picture of a cow in a cow fence then i don't even know what to do anyways let's just go ahead and do that jack and jennifer what in tarnation are you guys doing out here you're gonna get eaten by like an owl or something watch them watch them they'll just take off sprinting and go like destroy a little grasshopper or something for your first location i'm actually gonna set it right here on this target because it's out looking out at the field there's always deer in the field at night and i mean they're just does and maybe a couple bucks but i don't know i think it'll be really cool to test out the range of the kg trail camera we'll really be able to see how far it can you know see i guess now let's go check one that's actually been set for like eight months. And the one I'm talking about is this one right here. I don't know. Let me give you a little surrounding of what it's actually looking at. Looking right over here. If y'all remember, this this thing hasn't left this tree in like a year. And I'm not kidding. And I really do think I've checked it like maybe three times the whole time. I mean, I kind of forgot about it. But the battery life never really ceases to amaze me. It's still got full power. I've never changed the battery. Pretty sure the battery's going to explode before like they actually die. Don't really understand it. But I'm not going to complain. Let's check out what pictures we got. We have 351 so uh well if we can't find something in here then i don't know we've got problems again all right let's just go through them pretty fast see what we can see oh there's a turkey yeah there's a turkey since this is a video we can actually watch it <gasps> no way dude no way that turkey's got little kids with it i mean y'all can't see it because this camera's not good enough but she actually had little ducklings or whatever you want to call with her you can see them right there on the bottom moving around well, that's cool there's me uh oh we got there we got here looks like a skunk a big old and of course you have the dates i think that one says 2010 or something no i do not set the date for my trail cameras i forget i really don't remember to do it. dang these mosquitoes are looking mean today it looks like a big coon yeah just a big old raccoon just chilling down here at night we'll look at a deer picture and then we'll go on there doesn't seem to be a lot going on here and that's when we'll end on today it looks like it's just a deer that was probably a little while ago so it probably doesn't have antlers yet anyways guys that's all we're going to check for this one um, from what i'm looking at it's pretty well just deer coons and maybe like a you know turkey every now and again and there's nothing really in this spot that they're coming to like we're not baiting them in or anything so we can't really expect to see a ton of deer all the time this is really just set up in an area because i don't know i'm hoping that maybe something walks through the area i mean i guess that's the mindset i don't know but i'm gonna go ahead and delete all the pictures reset it and then we can always come back check it tomorrow see what's gonna be here tonight i think i'm gonna set the next one right here oh there goes an owl or a hawk or something just i don't know you, you didn't see that anyways we're sitting here on this road right here i'm sure something comes through here if not we're about to find that out i'm thinking we just like maybe set up set a camera on that tree and hope for the best you know hopefully a bobcat or something will come through here i know for a fact i've seen bobcat coyote fox basically about everything that lives i've saw it walk right through this place this little trail right here is proven to be a pretty good trail camera spot and trapping spot i've actually caught a coyote right there and a world record possum right there too remember that you're a real OG. also at the time you're watching this video these are actually still in stock so if you'd like to go pick one up get a great wonder call slash shop or the first link in the description you should be able to get one but there's really not many left at all so if you want one it may be good my, you know like, not trying to like push you or anything but you'd be really smart if you'd go pick one up now i'm not telling you you have to but i am telling you you have to if you really want one they won't be here much longer especially once hunting season gets here it was going to actually you know, I, don't, I don't know man i'm just talking to myself if you want the camera, you know where to get it. But, oh, there we go. Now it's set. And we run along and uh, wait until tomorrow and come check now, it. I don't want none of y'all to be disappointed if we don't come here tomorrow and there ain't a black bear on this camera. You got to keep in mind, I'm only going to let them set for one night. And you know, sometimes the animals just don't come through here at night. So if we don't see anything, that's totally okay. But I can 100% guarantee we're going to have some pictures to look at tomorrow because of the placement of this next trail camera. 
Okay, guys, we have a different mission now. So if you've watched the main channel recently, you'll see that we've actually got a few cows. They're over there. You can't really see them. But long story short, we have never seen them drink water once, which is really weird. So instead of putting the trail camera on a random tree, I'm just going to put it on the water and see if they drink the water. If we do get footage, probably not going to be too exciting. You know, it's just going to be cows drinking water. But it will be exciting for us, because at the moment, we don't even know if they drink water. And that'd be a problem. Hey, we you burping at? I don't know guys, we'll see. See you tomorrow. Welcome back, cool cats and kittens. Let's check this trail camera. This is the one out in the middle of the field. I know it at least has a picture of me because I've been out here doing donuts for like an hour today. We'll open her up and see what she's got. Now for a lot of these trail cameras, I'm just gonna leave them set, but for this one, I think I'm actually gonna take it down because who who actually knows? Who knows? I'm probably gonna come out here in the middle of the night one night, forget the cameras here, shoot this target, and then I'm gonna blow it off. So yeah, long story short, I'm gonna take this one down after we leave. We have eight pictures. Eight videos, maybe? Oh, yeah, there we go. We got deer. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Probably not, because I'm shaking the camera too much. You can't really see them too good because of the glare on the camera, but... Oh, dang. Four? That's four deer moving right in. Six? Oh, this is fun. Six deer. <laughs> Six deer walked right through that, and that means that they actually came right over here. What time was that? Oh, yeah, I forgot to set the time on. But the deer came from right over there, came out of the tree line, walked right through here, and then they probably went over there somewhere. Let's check. Oh, fun fact, it's actually deer season right now in Kentucky. For a bow, at least. So, Kendall, dude, why aren't you going bow hunting? You're such a lazy hunter. Well, listen, guys, this is kind of important, too. All right, so here's the first reason. Right now, it's still summer, so everything still has the summer bugs on it. So, like, if I go kill a deer... It's probably gonna be infested with fleas, ticks, and whatever else likes to, I don't know, sit on deer in the summer. So that's one reason. The second reason is because with all this coronavirus stuff, all the slaughterhouses are booked up, and they don't have any free time. Like, literally, if you call them and like, hey, when can you slaughter this cow? They'll say, our next available booking is June 2021. Like, I'm not even kidding. That's really how it is. So yeah, I mean, if I killed a deer, I'd literally have to butcher it myself, which isn't a problem. I just don't want to this early with all the ticks and stuff. But here in this winter, that's exactly what we're going to have to do. Anyways, let's keep checking the trail camera, see what else we got. Looks like some more deer, just the same exact deer it appears to be. That was me whenever I was sitting. All right, guys, done with this trail camera. Let's go check another one. And here we are, guys. We're at the second one. This is the same one that was set like last year and that we checked actually yesterday. So let's turn it on setting or whatever and let's actually check them out. See what we got. Oh, wow, that's a deer. And that was like very recent. Oh, never mind. So because I didn't video it, it took a picture and that means I can actually zoom in this time. And with 16 megapixels, that's what this camera is, you can get a really in-depth picture. Like it doesn't look super high quality on this camera, but that's because I'm videoing a video screen. In person, it looks really nice. There's the same deer. There's the same deer. Oh, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. We got to check and see if that's a boy or girl or if it has antlers or anything. Oh, snap. I think it may have antlers. No kid. Does it have antlers? Moment of truth. Hey, it does. Looks like we got us a little spy here. I mean, he's nothing massive, nothing too gigantic. Looks like right now he's either a spike or a three-pointer. Either one. Don't really care. I'm fine with it. He may have been the only thing that's actually been around here in the last day. Seems like he actually he just stayed here for a while. He's probably eating acorns. Yeah, and then there's me coming up today. As for that, I'm just going to set it back and leave this camera here. I took down the other camera, but like I said, I, I honestly thought I'd probably forget about it and end up shooting. This one, don't feel like I'm going to be shooting this tree anytime soon, so we should be all right. Let's head on down to the one that's on the road. I think is the second to last one that we actually set. It's the one where I've caught like a coyote right beside him. And the world record possible. Come back on this guy, set it back, and we'll just uh, boom, bada, bing, da, da. That thing's good to go. I don't know how, but the batteries are still at 100%. It's been two years. Come on, truck camera. Come on, truck camera. Make me proud. Make me proud. Show me something I want to see. Show me a black bear. Show me a bull shark. Oh man, we got four pictures. That was me running away last time. Here is me also driving away last time. Here is me pulling up today. And here is me pulling up today. Okay, I told you this yesterday that there's also, that there's always a good chance we won't done just... <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But like I was saying yesterday, there's always a chance that just nothing walks through here tonight. And they, they did it. Nothing walked through here. I'm just going to set this one back. I do have confidence in this location, but I also do understand that it may take time before deer actually start using it. But if I was going deer hunting tomorrow, and this is all the information we, we have, I can tell you right now, I'd rather be up there in the field than down here. I mean, there's automatically deer up there. I mean, we saw six deer up there in one night. Zero deer here in one night. I don't know, guys. May have to set up a tree stand on the edge of that field. That probably wouldn't be a bad idea either. And now on to cow patrol. Will we find out the mystery? Have the cows drank? I don't know why this is such a big deal, but it just is. Okay. Just get excited with me. Let's check it out, guys. Let's see what we got. Particularly the bull, because it's the newest and it 
Well, it doesn't exactly know a lot. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got on the truck. 15 pictures. I mean videos, so that's always a good thing. My truck camera may have been angled wrong. Oh, here we go. Okay, it's interesting, I guess. That's my cousin, and he's feeding them right now. Looks like they're going ham on some corn. Absolutely demolishing it. I'd be surprised if the corn legion doesn't declare war overnight. Absolutely phenomenal. Keep on flipping, flipping, flipping. So far, they've just been eating. Now, right here, they are drinking. I don't know if you can see that or not. My manual focus isn't too great, but she is definitely drinking the water. But that's not the bull. Let's keep going. Maybe the bull will come around. All right, so I don't exactly think the angle was perfect because they were most of the pictures is of them actually out there in the field so i don't exactly think i had it aimed right at the barrel thing long story short though we did figure out that they they, they are they are drinking water i don't know really why i don't i don't really know why we thought they wasn't but they definitely are so that's a good sign you're coming with me trail camera there's no need for you to watch cows drink water anymore i'm gonna go put you on something more important like a chicken house or something if you're not subscribed to the second channel yet click right here to do that or click right over here to watch another trail cam video where we actually hunted down a groundhog but if you're not subscribed go ahead and do that that's pretty important